Good evening, sir. Could you spare just a moment of time on this late, grave night? I please, I, I beg of you, I need to share some very important- I'm sorry, I'm just really not interested in joining the army, so you have a good night. Sir, you must believe me, you must listen to me. There is something much more devious going on outside than just pure religion. No, there are zombies eating people alive. They're gonna come for you. They're gonna come for your family, your friends, and your cat. Listen, I don't know much about the Amish, but you're clearly on acid, so, um, have a good night. Hopefully you get home safe. No, please, no, sir, no. wait. Come on. I just want to play my game in peace, world. Ugh. Okay, I swear to God, this Amish butt guy better have like magic beans or something. I swear I'm gonna shoot this mother- Sir, wait, please, just listen to me. Just play this game, please. Play it, beat it, do whatever you gotta do. Just You can save the world, you can save all of us. I know the Amish don't use electricity, so what the hell are you doing with this game? But thank you for the free game, so have a nice night. Please! What a peculiar fellow. Many of us may remember the House of the Dead series playing it in the arcades, wasting our quarters away because, you know what, those zombies were actually pretty hard back in the day. But never fear, you can play it on the Wii and you can have as many continues as you want. Now this entry into the House of the Dead series is actually an exclusive for the Wii, and actually it's a pretty good one as well. I do have to say, it is probably best played in co-op like in the old arcade days where you both had the light guns and you were just shooting away at these zombies. You can do the same thing again, but this time use the Wii Zapper because you know what, your hand's gonna cramp up real bad. I say this from experience. So in this entry, you play as either Agent G, that's literally his name, he goes by nothing else, and his partner Isaac Washington. However, he has the best name for Agent G, like Agent Gwendolyn, Sleeping Beauty, Dipshit, Montel. Don't make me go call it your stupid ass name. You get the picture. So you two are chasing after an evil mastermind behind the zombie apocalypse. Well, not zombies, they're considered mutants instead for some reason. The man behind it is Papa Caesar. And it's up to both of you to stop him and to stop all these mutants from devouring the entire country. Now, how do you stop all these zombies? Well, I'll tell you with the wonderful Wiimote. And I do recommend that you use the Wii Zapper because your hand is going to feel so cramped. And I highly suggest that you do some couch co-op because it will really bring back the feeling of the days of going to the arcade and playing together. So it's really quite simple. All you have to do is just aim your Wiimote at the TV and just shoot away. Occasionally you can pick up some grenades and also there's a part where you can shoot it and everything goes in slow motion. And if you get really good shots, like headshots and all that kind of stuff, you get more points. And with the points, you can unlock all these different weapons and upgrade the weapons as well. With all this talk about guns and weapons, I almost forgot to talk about another important character. Yeah, Varla Guns. She's kind of the somewhat damsel in distress, but not really. 
She just calls you out on all of your bullshit. Both of you. You're both you're both just awful. I also do have to mention that the bosses leave a pretty big impact on you. They're kind of disturbing, and most of them are pretty gross. And also just they're kind of they're just disturbing overall. And I do have to say that I am not really fond of any of them, mostly because they're just so, you know, disgusting. Especially that carnival freak duo guy. Ugh. Leaves you with nightmares. I bet you're wondering, is this game really that good? You know what? It is! If you know what you're going into, of course, because there's a lot of crude, there's a lot of cursing, there's a lot of gore, and there's just some things that many people might not enjoy. But if you know what you're going into, you'll find tons of enjoyment with it. If you like films like Planet Terror, Machete, kind of great grindhouse kind of films, you will like House of the Dead Overkill. If I had to put a number on it, I would give it probably around a 9 out of 10. The only reason it doesn't have a full 10 is because the bosses just grossed me out that much. So House of the Dead Overkill is actually a pretty fun game, especially if you've got someone else to play with. Don't worry.